Hello everyone. Today we're going to explore some amazing devices that help us communicate using light and sound. Are you ready? Let's dive in in today's video. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey joined with my dad, Chavis Spivey. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will explore devices used to communicate across a distance using light and or sound. So, so let's, let's do this. this. Our learning targets for today are, number one, I will be able to describe and explain how devices are used to communicate across a distance using light and or sound. Here we have walkie talkies. Walkie talkies are two-way communication devices that use radio waves to send and receive messages. When someone wants to speak, you press the push to talk button which turns off the receiver and turns on the transmitter to send a message. Your voice then gets turned into radio signals that travel through the air to another walkie talkie. It's like magic. Now let's move on to flashlights. Look at this flashlight. It turns chemical energy from batteries into electrical energy to make light to send signals. You can flash it on and off in a pattern like Morse code to send messages over a distance. It's a silent way to say hello from far away. Morse code is a system of communication that uses short and long signals called dots and dashes to represent letters, numbers, and punctuation marks. The signals can be sent by tapping, drumming, buzzing, clicking, or flashing light. Now you can communicate with others using light or sound to send a message. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, how are walkie talkies used to communicate messages? Number two, what is Morse code? Number three, how are flashlights used to communicate messages? Pause the video and take four minutes to write your responses. You got this. Now on to cell phones. Next up, we have the trusty cell phone. It uses both light and sound. Cell phones send and receive calls using radio waves. When a cell phone is turned on, it sends a signal to the network to let it know where to send the calls. When a call is made, the phone's microphone converts the user's voice into electronic signals, which are then converted into binary codes and transmitted as radio waves. Binary code is the most basic form of computer code, consisting of two numbers, 0 and 1. When the binary codes reach the other person's cell phone, they are converted back into electronic signals and then into a voice that they can hear. Now you can talk to someone across the world with just a few taps on this screen. Amazing, right? Let's move on to signal flares. And here we have signal flares. They use bright light to send emergency messages over long distances. They can be used in a variety of situations, including on boats, in vehicles, or in the air, and are highly visible from a distance. Flares work by igniting a chemical mixture that produces light and heat. If you're in trouble and need help, these can save the day. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, how are cell phones used to communicate messages? Number two, what is binary code? Number three, how do signal flares communicate messages? Pause the video and take three minutes to write your answers. You got this brilliant scientist. And there you have it. Some cool devices that use light and sound to communicate across distances. Whether it's with walkie talkies, flashlights, cell phones, or signal flares, these adventures help us stay connected and safe. Which one would you use to send a message to a friend far away? Which one would you use to get help in an emergency? Let us know. Thanks for joining us today. Stay curious, young scientists. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining how devices are used to communicate across a distance using light and or sound by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results in your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive productive day. That's the end this way.